Joe Rogan in the latest episode of the Joe Rogan Experience was talking about Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou that happened last week and this time there was a special guest on the Joe Rogan Experience, Elon Musk. I mean, he was having no clue that what Joe Rogan is talking about, he did not know about Tyson Fury and neither Francis and Ghana. But Joe Rogan was talking about it. Joe Rogan was having some talk with him. He was trying to explain that who Francis Ngano is and who Tyson Fury is. Joe Rogan also talked about that who he think won the fight was it tyson fury or was it francis ngano before watching this video of joe rogan and elon musk make sure you subscribe this channel for more interesting videos so you can be get notified every single time when i will upload these type of videos mma boxing ufc and many more so without wasting further time we'll take a look what joe rogan and elon musk has to say about tyson fury and francis ngano the biggest boxing bout in 2023 Big was the, the up, tyson fury francis ngano boxing match is it the one you bet the year off no, this uh, is the re that's, that's <laughs> Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield. That's from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> no, this fight that took place this last weekend, Francis Ngannou, okay. who was the UFC heavyweight champion, he vacated the belt so okay. he could take this fight with Tyson Fury. This was his dream okay, fight. Okay. Tyson Fury, who's the lineal heavyweight champion, Francis Ngannou had never had a boxing match ever in his life. Had zero boxing matches, but he was the UFC heavyweight champion. Okay. Knocked down Tyson Fury in the third round, up in the eighth round. Most people, including me, thought he should have won the decision, including most boxers, most boxing pundits. And he lost by one point on one judge's scorecard. He won on one judge's scorecard, had it 96-93 for Tyson Fury, which is outrageous. But Francis Ngannou, who is a, a literal freak of nature, I mean, this guy grew up in Cameroon and was working in the sand mines when he was a child, okay. like a Conan movie, like full on, like yeah, this great exactly. warrior. Conan's like pushing the thing yeah, around in a the circle. Wheel. Yeah. He's developing his body, digging yeah. in the sand all day. He's okay. supremely physically advanced. He looks fit. He's not just fit. He's the hardest puncher ever measured. In okay. all of MMA. There's a machine that we actually have outside at the gym. Francis has hit it harder than any person who's really? ever lived. Yeah, well, look at him. Look can at I him. hit it? Yeah, we can set it up. Is I had the record for the kick for a while. Okay. Yeah. Somebody, a couple of people beat it now. But Francis punched, like, it's an insane. It's sure. And when he dropped Tyson Fury in the third round, you see Tyson's on his back going, and then he realizes, like, because he, I think he yeah, it's thought being, like, he was just going. A, a sledgehammer. We well, thought he was going to run him over because he's the boxing heavyweight champion. He's like, there's no way this guy could box with me. He even said at the beginning of the fight, it's time to go to school. Okay. And then Francis said at the end of the fight, you are a sh professor. <laughs> you should watch it. It's a good okay. free show. It's, I mean, it's on ESPN Plus. You okay. still, I'm pretty sure you can still get it. There are a lot of people that thought Francis and Ghana won the fight, and there are a lot of people that thought that Tyson Fury might get that victory. But at the end, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time in another interesting video. Subscribe.